Hey guys, in this video let me show you how to enable or disable Copilot in Windows 11 PC. I am using the Windows 11 developer version. So recently Copilot has been introduced on the Windows 11 PC. So you can able to enable or disable the Copilot section and once you enabled, you can able to see the Windows Copilot icon in the taskbar. So you can able to manage that under the taskbar settings. Just to go to the settings and click on the personalization and here is the taskbar option click on this so here is the option copilot once you enable now here you can able to see the copilot icon now in the home screen itself once you click on this copilot icon now you can see the copilot so now here you can able to change the gpt's for that just click on this time icon now here is the chats so here is a copilot gpt's so if you want to search for something else you can use copilot or else if you want to uh, make some designs or uh, photos means you can select the designer so now you here you can right from the home screen itself you can uh, you can use any keyword to generate ai images and if you want you can select the copilot again and also there is some more plugins also here so here it is so instacart kayak and open table shop so like that some more plugins are available and in future also if any plugins are available so you can just check over here the copilot can open the setting page on behalf of you once you do any searches for example so if i actually search for select any one of the recent images and set that as home screen wallpaper it actually opens the personalization and background setting page and also the copilot don't have the direct access to your computer files or settings so it actually only opens that particular setting page then you need to select the settings and here is a one more example some settings it not automatically opens now in the second example i asked for change the time setting from 12 hour format to 24 hour format so for that it actually gives the following steps but it not do on behalf of us and i again said that do it yourself for that it actually gives a dialog box like a setting app so you have to click on the yes then it actually opens that setting page and then here is a one more example so i asked the copilot to create a shortcut file in desktop and also i given the location of that particular image for this copilot replied that i don't have a direct access to your computer's files and settings so like that some settings are still limited and it's not fully integrated with the windows operating system so for example if you want to open a, any application means for example i entered open calculator it actually shows some dialog box now so here it is you have to click on s so then only it actually opens the calculator application. The copilot still not have that administration full permission. So to do all the settings or accessing all the files on behalf of us. But in future, if that particular update is given by enabling any permission settings means, so that will be greatly helpful so that we can able to smartly communicate between the Windows operating system using the Windows Copilot. Yes.